Hey y'all, we're working on the challenge uh, Wondrous Chess. This is an open-ended loops challenge uh, in the while loops unit. Um, what we're trying to do here is um, if n, we're given an integer n as a parameter. If it's odd, we want to triple it and add one. And if it's even, we want to take half of it. We want to do this um, all the way until the number one is reached. And then we can just uh, return a list of all the numbers that we went through. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to declare all of the variables that I am going to need. Um, I know I'm going to return a list so I can go ahead and put that in there. And the second thing that I'm going to need actually is a uh, boolean flag. So um, I'm going to call this uh, continue, um, but continue is a reserved keyword. Um, if I have a variable and it makes sense to, to use a um, reserved keyword, um, I'll typically either shorten it or add an underscore after it. Um, but let's go ahead and just use um, continue. And let's go ahead and set the default um, true. So we will continue on with our process um, until that Boolean flag is changed to false. So I can just say that um, while content, right? And I could say while content equals true here, um, right? But implicitly, I can just say while content and um, it will continue so long as that variable has a uh, true value or is a one. Um, the first thing that I want to do is um, it tells me that it wants to wants me to append all of the numbers that I iterate through, including the first number, which is n. So the first thing I'm going to do inside of my while loop is to just append n to the list. Um, then I'm going to want to um, check if that number is actually one. And if that number is one, then I'm going to want to switch my Boolean flag to false. Uh, the next conditions that I'm looking for um, is if n is even or odd. So I'll just say if n modulo two double equals zero, then um, I'm gonna do something, right? So again, n modulo two double equals zero, Right, I see that and I read if n is evenly divisible by two um, or it is even. Um, and if that happens, what it said it wanted me to do was to um, then divide n by two. But um, we could use the, the typical operators here, the divide, um, but this is an opportunity to get a little practice on our um, accumulator operators right where I can divide equals and uh, this is the same statement um, just a little bit more elegant and lastly um, if the number is odd I can use an else statement here if that number is odd then I want to um, first multiply it by three and then add one um, I don't need any parentheses here my order of operations are taken care of now, um, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and uh, return that list. So if I go ahead and run my test here, I should get the correct answer.